Hi, Adam here from Future Set Mortgage Broken. Hope you're doing well. It's Monday, we're bringing you property finance insights where each week we deep dive into a topic of choice. And today we're just talking about what, which is the right home loan for you. So there are a bewildering variety of home loans available and it can be confusing to figure out which type of home loan is the best for your circumstances. However, when you know the pros and cons of each type of loan, you can make a decision that will fit best with your financial situation. So firstly, number one, fixed rate home loans. So a fixed home loan offers an interest rate that is fixed for a set period, usually one, three or five years. The key benefit is the ability to budget, knowing exactly how much your repayments will cost each time. However, a fixed loan doesn't have the same flex flexibility as other loans. You will encounter restrictions if you want to make additional repayments, such as fees or capping to a lower amount. You might also be disappointed if the interest rates drop dramatically and you are still paying the same fixed rate. This is a good option if you want to make steady, regular payments and you intend to stay in your current home throughout the term of the loan. It is not such a good option for someone who wants to move to another property in the foreseeable future or wants to cut down on their term of their loan. Number two, variable rate home loans. So a variable rate home loan is, more, is far more versatile with the option of making extra payments at no extra cost, enabling to pay the loan off sooner. Your loan might also, be, might also offer unlimited redraws so you can access money in an emergency. Another positive feature is the offset account, a transaction account linked to your mortgage account which reduces your interest payable. This is a good option if you want to invest the maximum into your mortgage with the freedom to redraw it if required. However, as the interest rates will vary from payment to payment, it's not such a good option if you struggle to budget for unpredictable changes in the loan repayments. Number three is a split loan. So the split loan offers the advantages of both fixed and variable loans, and you can split your loan into any proportion you wish. So 50, 50, 80, 20, or whatever split best fits. Number four, interest only loans. So with an interest only, you pay only the interest on the loan for the initial term, usually for from one to five years. Your monthly repayments are considerably lower, although this is because you're not reducing the principal of the loan. At the end of the interest only term, your payments will rise as you must start paying both interest and principal. This is going to be an extremely expensive option if you're not sure what you are doing. However, well informed investors tend to choose interest free, loan, interest free loans as they can take advantage of low repayments over a set period. And number five, there's the low doc loan. So the low doc loan has lower requirements for proof of income and credit rating, yet they also require a higher deposit and charge high interest rates. While the option can be popular with self-employed people who don't have the same level of documentation to prove their income, the excessively high interest rate can sometimes make it, make it a less favorable, favorable choice long term. If this is your only option for a loan, then this is a, definitely a consideration if you're not prepared to wait for your circumstances to change. Now look, if you need help figuring out what's the most suitable loan, home and loan option for you and your circumstances, please feel free to use the link or button below to book a time for a chat with myself and we can get things started for you. For now, for now though, have a great rest of the week and I'll speak to you soon.